Uh, my name is George, and um, as we all know, uh, most college, the modern college student um, is a very busy college student. They have a very busy life, you know, with work and school. So um, most of them don't have time to um, exercise or eat right. Um, and studies suggest that about 60% of both female and male college students um, don't need the right amounts of nutrients they need. Um, they also like exercise. So uh, due to those, uh, due to the lack of exercise, they're not motivated. Uh, they perform low on tests, and um, they also have low self-esteem. So um, today, uh, I will demonstrate you today how to do a simple smoothie, and uh, I'll demonstrate you how to do two simple workouts that you could do from the comfort of your home. And uh, first, I will demonstrate how to do a smoothie. Second, I will demonstrate you how to do a simple push-up. And uh, lastly, I will demonstrate to you how to do a simple sit-ups. And uh, first, I'll start off by demonstrating how to do a simple smoothie. And with this, you might need a blender or any some sort of other uh, smoothie making thing. Today, I brought this. Um, I also brought in today strawberries and a banana and an apple because that's what I use. Um, so first off, you're going to start off by um, getting your strawberries and your kitchen knife. And uh, what you want to do first is um, cut the, the top part of the strawberry from each strawberry. You also wanted to cut it into fours, if you like. After that, you will put it in your little cup thing, or your blender. Once you're done with that, um, you get your banana. But you will, first, you want to clean up the knife because you don't want to cross contaminate anything with the strawberry and the banana. So, what you want to do is get it and well, cut it in half because well, you don't really need the whole banana. You want to peel it and just put it into like little circles. Now, what you want to do is get your apple, cut it also into half, and then into another half. And well, you can put the whole apple in, or you can just put like half of it. That's totally up to you. Then, you get your water. You could add milk or a water, it's up to your liking too, but um, right now I'm going to use a half a cup of water. And then that'll be the smoothie. I'm not going to make it right now because, well, I don't know how to drink it today in the morning. <laughs> so that will be it. After that, you just take it out and put it in your cup. And uh, you will be ready in the morning or whatever, whenever you like it. And um, it shouldn't take more than five minutes, you know, depending on how, you, how fast you are or whatever uh, the ingredients you will be using. Um, so that's the smoothie. Uh, now I'll demonstrate to you how to do uh, simple push-ups. And for this, uh, you will need a flat surface. So, um, can you just stick? Uh, 
Um, so you'll find a, a flat surface. You could do this from either your room or your garage, wherever your liking is. Uh, so what you want to do is first, um, you got to remember you always want your, your back flat. You don't want uh, you don't want to do none of this, for example. You don't want to do none of that, or you don't want to do none of this, because then it won't be a push up. You just gotta not get a workout out of that. So what you want is always keep your your back flat. And as you go down, and remember you always tighten your core, so that you all, also you can um, not only work out your upper body but also your core. So when you go down. You want to always try to keep your 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 your, um, your elbows at a 90 degree angle and push back up. <laughs> and as you go down, you want to try to control your breathing. So when you go back up, you exhale, not the opposite way. Um, and you want to do that for about 15 minutes. Uh, you can take rest for like three minutes if you like. <laughs> um, third, I will demonstrate to you how to do a uh, sit up. And for this, you also need a flat surface. And again, you could do this either for your room or in your garage. And um, what you want to do is also make sure that your black is flat. You could either put your arms here, like this, or you could do cross them. Or make sure that you don't get your neck, so that way you don't pull on your head when you go like that. Otherwise, you're just going to hurt your neck. So you want to try to keep it like this on your shoulders. And as you go up, you always want to try to always try to compress um, your ab <coughs> your abs. So when you go back up, like that, always try to compress it. And um, when you go back down, you don't necessarily need to go up, touch the, the floor again. You always want to try to come down as far as this, no more than that. So that way, um, you don't loosen the the tightness in your abs. You always try to keep them contracted. Um, and again, you can do this for like 15 minutes, take simple rest of 3 minutes for each. So that way you can combine both workouts into 30 minutes and you don't take that long. Um, so uh, today I demonstrate to you how to do a um, simple smoothie. I demonstrate you how to do simple push-ups. And uh, I demonstrate you how to do uh, simple sit-ups. And by doing this, um, you will not be part of those 68% of uh, college students who don't, uh, who lack exercise and don't eat properly. And uh, you will live a more happy life with that. You will do great in school. And you will have high self-esteem with that. And um, that's it. Thank you.